Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergs Arcade at BergsArcade.com and here we are again with another tutorial in NGUI and we're going to go ahead and open up Unity. We're still working with our little floating uh, text here and I got a few new things I wanted to add. Uh, someone mentioned uh, wanting to be able to change the font. Uh, we can add that to the list and another thing I want to be able to do is actually turn it on and off. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and actually do the on and off. Uh, the font, we're going to wait till we actually create the driver for. Uh, same as the spawn at a specific spot and screen, although I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue now that we actually have it following because we could just you know, say here's where your uh, object is, go ahead and uh, spawn, but uh, we'll, we'll cover that when we get to it. Um, I do have this done. I don't want to remove it from now oops sorry this one here is when we finished so let's go ahead and actually just start cleaning this up and i wanted to get the on and off done as well so to start off with i'm going to make a private variable it's just going to be a bool and i'm just going to call it active and i'm going to come down and create a public uh, setter and getter for it and it'll be of type bool and I'm just going to call it active. Just return. And here, active which is going to be set to the value that we pass in. All right, we have that done. And all this down here. Well, we're only going to have that go off if uh, if we are active. So we'll go if uh, not active, just return. So if we're not active, don't bother running any of this other stuff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create the start function. And I'm going to move the GUI camera there. Uh, we should always know where that is because, well, this will be a child of it. And I'm going to go ahead and create another uh, getter and setter for the target. And we can add some of this stuff in there. Uh, so go ahead. We'll do it uh, right under active. And oh, do we need to get her and set it? Yeah, we'll go ahead because you don't know. We might want it eventually. So game object. And I'm just going to call this target. And we want to get, uh, we'll just return. And it looks like I'll have to rename that because I'm going to be moving that to being private. And we'll want to set uh, target. Uh, to be equal to the value. And while I'm in here, actually, I'm going to add another line. Generally, when I have more than one line in my setter and getter, I like to uh, kind of spread it a little bit. I'm also going to add this line here for the world camera. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in here as well. Now, of course, I'm sitting here thinking if uh, I really need to keep a reference to the target. Uh, can I just pass it in, get the uh, transform. This here, we can go ahead and make uh, public. Well, for now, we'll just leave it like this. Uh, we are going to hold the reference to the target. Uh, I don't want to keep recreating this variable every every frame. So I'm going to go up here and create it up here. And I'll just make it a private as well. So it's a vector three. It's called pos. It's the private. I'll prefix it with an underscore. While I'm up here, I'm going to refactor. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that underscore in front of it. Hit OK. It's going to go through, fix everything for me. Uh, it's going a little slow today, it seems. It's not that I have a lot of, <laughs> it's not a very large script. All right, so it's done it. Uh, so pause up here. So now we can just go like this. 
actually. I if I can just refactor it this way. Sure, it's probably faster. Uh, I can't. It's probably faster not to do it, but it saves on me potentially missing one, but I didn't use it all that much. And over here. And we got one here. And the last one here. All right, so let me see. We've got these two done. We're going to want to start playing around with that. But before we can really start playing around with it, we really should start creating our driver so we can actually test these uh, new methods out. So let me see, we're just over five minutes now, coming up on six. Uh, it's probably going to take a little bit longer than four minutes to do. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, end this one here, and immediately start the uh, creation of our driver. So uh, I guess you'll get two videos today. <laughs> anyway, bye-bye.